Hey guys, Admiral Neelix here, and I want to talk about the Botany Bay, how to crew her, and um, lower levels and the higher levels. I'm, I'll try to explain that as best as I can. Okay, so we're going to get to it. Right now, I'm going to show you my assigned officers that I have right now. The assigned officer for the captain is uh, Joaquin, of course. Uh, he comes with the con crew. As a matter of fact, he's usually the very first of the con crew that you get when you are asked to build the Botany Bay at whatever level that is. Okay, so um, what he does is he uh, either mines real fast as a bridge officer or he will add protected cargo as a captain. So I use him as a captain. Joaquin increases the protected cargo of the ship by 50%. Okay, so it'll take whatever cargo capacity the ship has already built within and add 50% of it to that. Okay, and I'll tell you why that's important in a little bit. Now, I have this guy here in, in a first chair. He is one of ten. He is Borg. Um, he has adaptive shielding power. We won't go into that because that's his captain power. I'm only going to talk about the maneuvers needed for this video. Bodyguard. Okay, so what this does here is protected cargo increased by 35%. So he will take uh, what Joaquin had added to it and then add to that by 35%. And then, of course, I have DuPont. Now, DuPont, he's a special guy. DuPont is only available when uh, the event store has him. You cannot uh, recruit him by chance when you do your regular recruiting. Um, his face will be um, on the wall that I'll show you in a little bit. However, you can only get him during events. So, uh, recommended, you know, get whatever ship you're trying to get. If you're trying to get a ship, um, and then whatever you have left, if you can get DuPont, get, you know, get as many shards of him as you can every time you see him when you're done getting everything else. All right, so uh, his deal is um, uh, one thing here is hidden stash. Uh, DuPont increases the protected cargo by 100, so what he, by 100%, so what he will do is take what the other two had added to the protected cargo that the ship already had and add 100% more. Where does that come into play? I will show you. So first of all, um, let's see, you'll notice that I have nobody on lower decks. Any mining ship that I have, I rarely ever have a lower deck set up for them because I don't use them for battle. I use them for mining, and that's all I need them for. All the other characters that I could put there, I save for away missions or in case I need them for uh, something else. All right, so let's go back here. Let's look at details. Here at details, you'll notice right here, I'll put it right where the arrow is, there's protected cargo, 128K. All right. So that means that when I come way over here to augment space, I can come over here. I'm going to pick the highest one that I can find. Let's see if I can find the sixth. There we go, 60,000. Okay. Well, at 128k a protected cargo, I can sit here through two cycles before I have to take the ship home to uh, empty it out. Um, and, of course, like, let's say I fall asleep and I have a, a ship there mining on its second cycle, I won't go 120 over 120k of the decoded data. Therefore, if I'm attacked, I still have 120k to take home. And that's fine by me. If I lose a ship, the Botany Bay is not expensive to fix. So, no big deal. I made it home with that. And that's true of all my mining ships. I set them up to where they'll hold more than what the node will hold. So even if I have to do something, I'm away from the phone, I fall asleep, uh, whatever, uh, during its mining period, if I get attacked, I keep everything that I mined for. And that's the important part. Um, now, the speed of the mining, you'll see that I can do the 60,000 uh just under 23 minutes, which is pretty fast on its own. If I had Joaquin as, let's say, a bridge officer instead of captain, that would slightly be faster. So the ability of the ship is fast enough for my needs. Um, and you should probably get used to having that uh, be fast enough for your needs too. So let's go on to the research part for it. Research part for the Botany Bay is important because it helps build you up. And since it is Botany Bay, it's going to be under Outlaw. Uh, so let's go to Outlaw Research Tree. And here you'll start seeing right away some Botany Bay um, add-ons. All right. So each time you represent, this is a HHP for the Botany Bay. HHP 
is um, hull health, okay? And so that's going to make your ship last a little longer because the hull is going to last a little longer. We have here the shields, and, of course, that's going to make your sh uh, shields last longer, SHP, shield health points. All right, so is what that stands for. Data storage. <coughs> this helps add protected cargo to the ship as well um, to make it possible to hold more. Uh, let's go on, let's go on. Augmented warp. This will increase the speed of the ship. Augmented impulse. This will make the ship faster to get to the node once it's in, in the system. <coughs> Pardon me. I have a dry throat. Okay, so whenever you do this uh, research for this, you know, uh, it helps it to hold more and get there faster, last a little longer in battle, and and so on. Um, I won't go into the other researches. That's about all it is for Botany Bay. And, of course, once you max, them out, max those out, those will make the specs on the ship a little higher. Now, as far as the question that was asked, uh, like, what does space savers mean? I have the habit of calling the crews that... Um, make the space bigger uh, space savers so let's go on I, I as you see I set them to group so that I can group them all and these are all yeah these are all the miners here um, that do deal with mining and cargo space if you want to make a runner out of one of your cargo ships meaning let's say you have a ship on a node and you have, uh, let's say you have three miners, and you have two miners on the nodes, and it's time to empty them out, but you don't want to lose that node, then you set up Helvia. Okay, Helvia is going to get your runner to uh, the node fast, so that you can switch them out, and she, that's where Gold Rush comes in. Uh, she's a Parsteel miner, so she's going to help mine Parsteel faster, but the more research you do, your mining gets faster anyway. Because of the speed of the ship, basically. So, uh, her her ability as an officer, which means one of the two side seats uh, on the top row. As long as the ship is empty, she will get your ship there faster by 125% of your warp speed. Okay, so from your base to a node, she's going to get you there pretty quick. Domitia, on the other hand, will get you home faster. So let's say you sat there, you mined, you know, even if you mine from one piece to the whole capacity of the ship, she'll get you home just a little faster by hurry home. She's a dilithium miner, so she'll help you know, mine dilithium faster. But again, when you do your research, you'll, you'll get that up to speed uh, on its own. Um, and then, of course, that's what the little Tribble is for, and we'll talk about him in a moment. So as long as the cargo ship is full, Demisha increases the um, warp speed by 130%. Okay, so she'll get your ship uh, back home pretty quick. Now let's go back here and find them again. Okay, so protected cargo. This girl here, let me see what she does. She's advanced mining, so all she does is just help speed up mining. Uh, which comes in handy during some things. I really don't worry about the speed of my mining at my level because I, I you know, do all that research so that I can mine at a comfortable speed because I do like the thought of being able to walk away from the game for a little while and not have to worry about things. Ston and Tapring. Okay, there's a joke going around that these two are married, so we're going to start with Ston first. Ston is pack rat. Okay, he's also an ore miner. He'll help mine any ore uh, a little quicker. Um, and then, of course, it depends on the ship that you set them up with, uh, because that'll help that ship, and we'll go into that later on. Pack Rat. Uh, he increases the cargo size of the ship by 35%. So what he does is, it, let's say the ship um, holds 100 uh, pieces of whatever, he'll add 35 to that. Okay, easy math there. Um, so what does he come in handy with? Tapring. Tapring is hidden stash. So she increases the protected cargo by 200%. Okay, so whatever the protected cargo level is, she's going to raise it up by 200%. Uh, that is why I have both of them on my Antares um, ship, because she, together they increase the whole uh, capacity of the ship, not only in protected cargo, but in more for when I'm mining in a node that you have to pay to get in by way of uh, special warp tokens. 
then you can sit there and mine all day, fill up your ship. The ship that I have her on right now holds over a million pieces, so you know I, I, I can have fun with that if I want and really not have to worry about being attacked. Let's go back. Oh, man, I hit one on accident. Give me a second here. All right, so no bones. I don't want to see you. Hawk white, but not me. <laughs> all right, so do 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 and then that's pretty much it as far as space savers okay so let's let's review here um i have stan joaquin okay he adds power he adds um space there uh to Pring, she's a protected cargo saver dupont's protected cargo so let me see that five of ten and i already talked about the board that does okay right here and two of ten uh, I forgot what he does. He does something with mining as well. Storage optimization. Okay, so 2 of 10 increases cargo size of ship by 20%. So he's basically doing what um, what Stan does by lifting up the, the cargo uh, percentage. So that's why I have her, him on the same ship that Stan and Tapring is on. Okay. Now, once I've leveled up my... Um, uh, big miner ships like this one here, okay, the Antares. Once I've leveled them up more, I'm really not going to need them as much because the the protected cargo here will grow as as it grows, and I won't really need to have so many protected cargo people. But knowing me, I'm most likely going to keep them on there. That way, I can run cycles through uh, each node. I hope that helped as far as explaining that. Um, with uh, the lower levels that, that you have on, a, like, let's say the Botany Bay when you go there. Take a look here. Get him. Move this to group so that you can group together. By the way, all these little lightning bolts in yellow that you see under, that means that they're going to be synergized. Okay, so the synergy of these people help uh, each other. They will make They will give a little more boost to the stats. Um, meaning that, that each one of their power, captain and, and bridge officer, will both kind of be implied um, along the way, making certain things grow. So, like, you know, if I wanted to add one of these people uh, to here to synergize him, 25% of, of both of their powers are going to be boosted uh, by that. And so, you know, that, that's where that comes in. If that helps you mine faster, if it helps you hold a little more, then then that's great. Um, that's usually what that means. And so I am done with this video, and um, I hope that it helps. Um, oh, and by the way, I do have, let's see it here. I do have two Stellas. Again, one is for uh, scrapping while the other one is getting leveled up. But I do have two Botany Bays as well. That way I can mine in two different spots or do a whole bunch of mining in one uh, to go. And since I am on that subject, let's go ahead and go here real quick to show you what you do with it. Botany Bay is more of a augment space thing. So with these prizes that you get, you'll see here that you have augment credits. You earn those uh, by spending these data uh, corrupted and um, decoded. Uh, so even though there's a point where you really don't need to get the the corrupted anymore, you get these right here. You get augment credits. Uh, this one here, you get it by doing the um, uh, corrupted, and you get these by doing the green ones, the decoded ones. Uh, you can recruit with those credits. You can come here and uh, let's go ahead and do a recruit real quick. You can get a piece of con. You can get some auto, auto is con and. A joking those three are the ones that you want to use for uh, breaking a base these guys are your are your brace break, uh, base breakers or when you do a raid so I have them and then of course if I was to come into here and do another set just to kind of level these up as you see I'm getting points for that so that's good all right it's a quick way to get points for any of the events that call for that mm. All right, within this space also, Hijack G3, the Hijack Legionary, and the Hijack Mayflower. <coughs> Excuse me again. 
out of those three ships, if you wanted to get one of those, some of the events will call for having a hijacked ship. Um, I recommend getting the the D3. It is faster. It's got some good power. And these three ships don't take so long to um, to upgrade. I did slow down on, on upgrading mine because I, I found that um, I, I really didn't need it so much only during those certain events that call for one. You will not... Let's go on to the Mayflower. You will not get... Um, four star materials by um, scrapping it you cannot scrap it usually the hijack ships aren't scrappable um they're you know they're, it's almost bra uh, bragging rights but when you are at lower levels if you can get them and start getting them they're a great ship to have because of the power they have at your lower levels they're they're really good to have it uh at that point so if you can get one but they do take 80 days to to get and then of course you can speed that up the way I did by way of event store. They became available to me in the event store, and so I went ahead and sped up getting my hijack ship by doing it that way. All right, so that is pretty much it. Uh, you'll have to use um, the the plutonium common and uncommon plutonium, and then there is a rare plutonium to use when building up uh, either one of those ships. Uh, that kind of takes place of maybe some of the the materials and and uh things that you need to build so when you can just buy them like that instead of getting them for chance that's how they kind of upgrade a little quicker after a while you don't have to buy them anymore so they become pretty much obsolete and in the research store uh, research on tree for outlaw there is a place that'll make them cheaper but at that point you really won't even need to do that um so i, I don't really you do that research until one of the other things requires me to upgrade that research, you know, so it, it really, I don't, I don't really mess with it that much. All right. Uh, let me see. When you get these, uh, decode, uh, decoded, uh, data that will take you to rogue and rogue will allow you to, to get these directives, um, here. Um, so you want to stock up on these a lot so that you can keep getting these directives. Uh, and uh, once you get to Stella, you'll you'll start figuring out why. And then I will explain that when when it comes. Uh, I'm already reached the 17 minute mark, and I think I've explained everything I could for this. If you have any questions, of course ask. And um, good luck. Have a good day.